Hey guys, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing week 18 of the local tournament reports. Now I haven't done this for a while, and that's mainly because I was playing the same old boring deck uh, week after week, so I didn't really feel like uh, posting them as the tournament reports. I did do fairly decent, I did get a few tops here and there, but I'm super excited to bring this deck profile because I got top four at my local event, so nothing crazy with pure Noble Knights. So I'm a big fan of Noble Knights, of course. Always my favorite deck to do deck profiles on and stuff like that. And it was amazing to actually get a top four cut, uh, but it was a bit of luck. So there was five rounds of Swiss. Round one, I lost the DDDs 2-1. Uh, he ended up getting in game three, of course. Then in round two, my opponent had to leave, so I got super lucky there. Round three, I played against Anti-Meta Stun, which does not affect Noble Knights pretty much at all. Then round four, I played against a Dragon Link player, but he was new to the deck and he was making a lot of misplays, uh, or at least you know that's what I was thinking, um, because there was a few plays where I felt like he could have extended and done a lot more. Um, but yeah. So, and then round five, my opponent didn't want to stick around because it was getting pretty late, so he ended up just giving me the match. Uh, so pretty exciting with a bit of luck, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you take this to your local event, it might not do as good, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is Pierre. Starting off with three Noble Knight Madrat, the main starter. You get this off with the Noble Arms that reattaches and it's full combo. Amazing. For the Noble Knights, of course. Then we got two Noble Knight Brothers. Uh, usually I like running at three, but I felt like in this version, uh, two was fine. I did run a lot of hand traps in this specific build, uh, which I'll talk about later. But yeah, two was fine. Uh, I was able to get draws off it so many times, it, and it just worked uh, very well. Then I still like running two boars. Um, there have been a few builds where I only run him at one. Uh, but Boars is crazy. If you want to like do a smaller combo, just go for Madurat and then Boars. Make them both level 5s, of course. Do their full combos. And then uh, just go into the big Exceed. The old classic combos for it. And then this turning into a Dark and Madurat turning into a Dark is very nice with Gwen. Uh, that came up quite a bit. Then we have two Noble Knight Evan. Uh, this gets your plays going, of course. If you open it, you can get into your link, go for boars. If you have another, another Equip Spell card, you can just go for boars plays. And then, of course, for the full combo with Madraw and Ivan, uh, always nice. And then two, Kustanen. I like this um, because it just works well with all the Noble Knights and the Equip Spell cards. Uh, you get to special summon it, so very nice. Gives you an additional normal summon for a Noble Knight that turn. Uh, very strong. And for the last Noble Knights, we got Noble Knight Dristin. Uh, this card comes up so much. Being able to pop face up cards is still very strong. Uh, of course, some cards can dodge it, and you know, it's not as strong as it used to be, but still a very nice card if you're running pure Noble Knights. Then we have for the last of the monsters, we got uh, Gwen. Uh, very strong. Noble Arms to go spell card whenever you need it as long as they don't call by the grave or banish it in some way. Then we got one gear freed. Usually I like running two, but one felt alright. And honestly, there's a few hand traps I'm going to be taking out, uh, so I might bump that back up to two. I'm not too sure, but uh, comes in very, very clutch. Then for the hand traps, we got three Ash Blossom Joy Spring, two Effect Valor, and the one I'm going to be taking out of the main deck and putting in the side is Nibiru. Uh, just there's so many times I drew it and it's not impactful at all so it was dead most of the time so yeah definitely I did not like running this. Uh, I put in some Noble Arms uh, cards because there were a few times where I needed a Noble Arms to go full combo and stuff so uh, definitely I'm thinking about putting in some more of those. And then two Honest. Now this is kind of like an old uh, hand trap that the Noble Knights used to run way back in the day and more or my recent builds didn't really run this at all and I forgot how nice it is there were so many times where I was able to drop in damage step and just run over something huge uh, so definitely like Honest in the deck at two uh, you can get away with one if you want to that'll do it for 
the monsters for the spells. We got three Heritage of the Chalice, searches your Noble Knights and your Noble Arms. Very strong. And then if a Noble Knight is destroyed while well, equipped with a Noble Arms, you can add this back to your hand. Then two Destiny for that protection. Two Caliburn for life point gain and 500 additional attack for your monster. And then for the one of Noble Arms, we got one F2 tier, one Gallatin, and one Excalibur. And one card that I really did miss was uh, Noble Arms of Claret. It's the one that lets you attack directly. Um, I'm definitely wanting to put one of those in, and probably another Destiny for taking out the two Nibirus. That's probably what I'm going to replace it with. And for the rest of the spells, we got two Twin Twister, and one Regeki, and one Reinforcements to the Army. Regeki was kind of cool, um, just a card I haven't really messed around with, even though it's at 3, and uh, you know, it did clear a couple bo uh, boards, so it's pretty nice. That'll do it for the spells, and just 3 traps, of course, 3 until the Noble Arms are needed once again. Uh, just super strong with boards, being able to send them, banishing one on your opponent's turn to special summon, and then banishing one on your turn to get another special summon. It uh, just comes up so often, it's crazy. Um, as long as you don't have a bunch of Noblets in the graveyard, of course. But, usually it's live because of Dristin and Kustinen. Uh, so very nice. Then, for the extra deck, really quickly. I like running two uh, Sacred Noble Knight of King Kustinen. Just removal. It does target, but it does replace itself if it gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard. So, very nice. One Emerald, never went into it, so you could definitely replace this. I just run a lot of the older rank 4s, just because uh, this deck doesn't link too much, uh, specifically the OG Noble Knights. Uh, then we got one Exiton Knights to kind of even the board out. Then one Artorgus, King of the Noble Knights. Uh, went into this a bunch, was able to wipe the back row on that anti-meta stun deck. So that was very helpful. Then we got one Photon Popper Lavative. I honestly just threw this in because I like this card a lot, just the artwork and everything like that. I uh, definitely can replace it with something a lot stronger. Then we got one number 101, one number 41. Then we got one Sacred Noble Knight of King Artorgus and one Zeus. Uh, so I never had to go into Zeus. There was a few times where I could have, but it would have hurt me more than it hurt my opponent. So, uh, very nice overall. I'd still keep it in. Then for the links, real quick, we got one Izzled. A lot of people like running two. Uh, I never felt like I needed it. I could recycle it with brothers and stuff like that, so very nice. One Nightmare Phoenix, just to get rid of back row. And one Unicorn to get rid of monsters that could be targeted. One Boral Load Dragon and one Boral Sword Dragon. Now, if you have access to Excess Code Talker, uh, definitely run that over these two. But these two are still pretty strong if you don't have an Access Code Talker, of course. So, yeah, that was the deck profile. Uh, like I said, I did get top four, but again, it was more of a luck factor. But overall, just a blast to play. I uh, had a lot of fun. Always have fun playing Noble Knights. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on the deck, go to those in the comment section down below. And if you made it to this point in the video, hopefully you did enjoy it, so leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Very much appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Alright, uh, got top four. These fools pulled a bunch of good secrets. Let's see what we can get here. I think I got all the supers, unfortunately, but we'll see. Oh, there's still a secret available. Oh, an ultra. The ugliest ultra in the game. <laughs> Oh, we call it a set. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are lying now. Portronics, oh, terrible. Terrible deck, don't play it. What do you mean? It's an amazing deck. <laughs> 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 so, the show. Just a super. That's a pretty good one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I just drill this in your top deck right now. Yeah. The supers were some stuff right now. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Alright, last week. Fish. Woo! You can use that. Sure, can you? Same value. Hey, you got two other starters. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, that's pretty good. Al